In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly install sheetrock screws. It might sound simple, but I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to avoid improper installation that's going to save you a big headache. And we're going to do it right now. For this demonstration, I have a piece of sheetrock here and I put it between two studs and I have some blocks behind it. And this isn't a how to hang sheetrock video. Uh, this is basically just how to attach sheetrock screws properly. You might think this is super simple, uh, just throwing a screw in sheetrock, and it is, but when you're talking a small piece like this, it's fine if you make some mistakes, whatever, it'll be fine. If you do an entire room uh, and make mistakes when you're put installing sheetrock screws, it is a nightmare. It's really annoying, and if not for you, especially the person that's going back and mudding everything. If you're not doing it, they're just going to get really annoyed and uh, hate the job, basically. So let me show you how you can avoid that. Let's start off with the right way. Uh, typically, you know, you guys aren't going to have a sheetrock gun. I think they're $150 or something like that. Um, so you're going to have a regular screw tip. And what you want to do is nice and straight go into the sheetrock once you get the head close to the sheetrock you want to be slow down and just go a little bit nice and slow and you want the head of that sheetrock screw to just barely dive into the sheetrock you want the screw to go in far enough where you're going to be able to mud over it uh, and not have to see the head of the, the screw, but you don't want to put the screw in far enough where it's going to break the paper. On sheetrock, there's paper on this side and there's paper on the back side, and then there's gypsum material in the middle. And you want to go in just far enough to where that screw is holding against this paper and not tearing it. So that's the proper way to install a sheetrock screw. Now I'm going to show you some of the mistakes I've seen and some of the mistakes I have made while installing screws. The first mistake I've seen is when somebody just takes a screw and drives it right in just like that. That is not going to work. Uh, if you do all of your screws like that, your sheetrock piece is just going to fall right off. There's nothing holding that. This gypsum material is not... Um, as structural as you would think. The paper really holds that screw head uh, and holds the sheetrock on there. So that screw really is doing nothing now. Next mistake I've seen is you take the sheetrock screw and that's it. So now you have the opposite problem where the screw head is too far out this way. It will hold the sheetrock up, but you're not gonna be able to cover that screw head with sheetrock mud to uh, hide it. So that is going to be a pain because you're going to be mud and everything and then you're going to come across one of these and you're going to have to stop and you're going to have to screw that in or take it out and it's just going to be annoying. Next mistake, honest mistake, maybe you're reaching, you're at a tough angle and you just want to get this thing in and your screw goes in at an angle. Again, same issue as with the previous one. You're not going to be able to mud that, and it's going to drive you nuts. Here's another one. Same kind of thing. You're at an angle, and you're trying to get the screw in. Oh, I'm at an angle, and you realize it, so you just screw it in there until it gets buried in there. But now you run into the same problem as the first mistake, where the screw is too far in and now that's not going to hold the sheetrock. You're going to want to put another screw in straight and make sure that's buried and make sure you have another screw in there that's actually going to hold the sheetrock. So with the properly installed screw, you'll be able to mud it. This knife is dirty. You'll be able to mud that nice and nice and flat. This one you'll be able to, but it's not gonna it's not gonna hold the sheetrock there. And this is where you start running into issues. You're doing your 
you're doing your holes, mud and everything, and then you get to this one, and that happens. And either you or the person that's mudding this thing is going nuts because they can't fill this thing. I always keep a Phillips head screwdriver on me, and I just take it and drive it in until I can fill the hole properly. Same thing with this one. That's so annoying when you do an entire room and that happens. And with these ones, same thing. You can screw them in. Another thing you could do is actually use a hammer and then fill it nice and flat. There you go. So if you're gonna be using a regular Phillips head bit like this in your drill, that's fine. But they do sell these, which is a nice alternative to actually buying an expensive sheetrock gun. And I have one that I've modified, put electrical tape on it and onto an extension so it didn't pop off. And uh, it works great. And it saves a ton of money and a ton of time and you don't have to buy a super expensive sheetrock gun. Basically what you do is you put your screw on here and this piece right here uh, allows you to screw the screw in and it dives the head in enough. You just keep going until you can't and it basically pulls the screw out a little bit and stops spinning and gives you a nice little divot that you can mud like this. Perfect. That was so quick. You don't have to go easy with the drill. You can just, just like this. And all these screws are at the perfect depth. They haven't ripped the paper and they're far enough in where you can just mud it and move on. So I hope this video helped you out. If you want to see more content like this, you can click here-ish and here-ish to check out some of my other videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do if you enjoyed this content. And in the description, you can find a link to my Patreon page, my Facebook, and my Instagram. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.